Welcome to the course on Dynamics of Machinery. Unit number 6 Introduction to Noise. So, in this presentation, we are going to see how we can make the control of noise pollution. So, definitely, to make the control of noise, we have to first do the noise survey. And if you observe that there is no risk or the value of that uh, noise level is very less in that case then there is no problem there then you are not supposed to do any kind of uh, work in that direction but if you found out that it is a noise hazard zone it means the noise level is very high in that case you have to try to reduce the yell equivalent okay or you can try to reduce the working life so first we will see that how we can reduce this L equivalent. So, you can reduce the L equivalent by reducing the noise level at the source or you can interrupt the transmission path. So, interruption of the transmission path or you can isolate the persons from that noise level or you can provide certain personal ear protection to the persons working in that particular heavy noise area. So, these are the ways by which the noise level can be reduced that will be exposed to the persons working in that area. And also you can reduce the exposure time. So, the noise attenuating refuges can be used or you can do the job rotation. So, these are the two options by which you can reduce the exposure time and at the same time the monitoring the audiometry is important for this so definitely in this way if you do it you can control the noise pollution so in general the techniques which are employed for noise control can be broadly classified as control at the source control in the transmission path and using the protective equipment. So, these are the three areas where you can focus on reducing the noise or you can reduce, uh, control the noise. So, control at source means what exactly we can do. So, reducing the noise levels from domestic sectors. So, for example, the domestic noise coming from radio, tape recorders or television sets, mixers, washing machines, cooking operations can be minimized by their selective and judicious operation. So, by usage of carpets or any absorbing material, the noise generated from the filling of items, filling of items in house can be minimized. So, whenever your some items are going to fall on the surface and if there is a carpet used, so definitely the noise will not be generated over there. Okay. At the same time, you can do the maintenance of automobiles, another way of controlling the at the source. So, in case of automobiles, if you do the proper maintenance of that uh, automobiles, definitely the noise will not be produced by the automobiles. So, regular servicing and uh, tuning of the vehicles will reduce the noise levels. Generally, you might have observed that whenever you are doing the servicing of your vehicle, maybe two wheeler or four wheeler, it is giving a quite uh, smooth functioning and very less noise to generate it. And the, after few days, definitely you will observe that the noise has started coming out from your vehicle. It means it needs the maintenance again. So, some nuts, bolts may get loosened after some period of time. So, if you tighten it up properly, fix the proper things, even uh, fixing the silencers to automobiles or two wheelers, we also reduce the noise levels. Okay. So, noise can also be reduced by controlling the vibrations in the systems. So, the vibrations of materials may be controlled using proper foundations. So, if you have the proper foundation of your machine uh, or you are using some rubber padding, then the vibrations can be minimized to reduce the noise levels which are caused by the vibrations. At the same time, low voice speaking. So, as far as possible, the people should prefer to talk in a low voice whenever it is required. Generally, we, uh, we observe that some people are talking on telephone and they are actually shouting on the telephone and whatever the people surrounding him will get disturbed because of that kind of uh, behavior of that person. So, speaking at low voices enough for communication will definitely reduce the excess noise levels. 
now we will talk about how you can do the control at the source so by other methods so prohibition on usage of loudspeakers so by not permitting the usage of loudspeakers in the habitant zones except for important meetings or important functions okay nowadays uh, the urban administration of the metro cities in india is becoming stringent on the usage of this particular kind of loudspeakers but still people uh, do not follow those things that is the actually the problem and because of which actually the noise pollution increases at the same time uh, selection of machinery is also important for controlling the noise at the source so optimum selection of the machinery tools or equipment reduces the excess noise levels for example the selection of chairs okay or selection of certain machinery or equipment which generate less noise due to its superior technology is also important factor in the noise minimization strategy also the maintenance of machine will also reduce the noise at the source so proper lubrication if you are doing for your machines definitely the noise levels will be minimum and the maintenance of machines or vehicles if you are doing properly so lubrication to the vehicles and machines is very important which will reduce the noise levels for example it is a common experience that many parts of vehicle become loose while on a rough path of the journey if these loose parts are not properly fitted they will generate noise and cause annoyance to the driver or the passenger similarly it is the case of machines so proper handling and regular maintenance is very essential not only for the noise control but also to improve the life of the machine okay so this is what uh, the things that you can do to control the noise at the source now what we can do to control the noise in the transmission path so you can see this uh, this is nothing but the source okay and this is the receiver and this is the transmission path okay so in this case uh, you are using one barrier here between the source and the receiver okay so here you are just uh, keeping this particular barrier very close to the source while in this case in the second case this barrier is kept at a larger distance from the source so the distance r means of this barrier with the receiver is less and d is more in this case r is less and d is more okay so the installation of barriers between the noise source and the receiver can attenuate noise levels for a barrier to be effective it is its lateral width should extend beyond the line of sight at least as much as the height okay that is important while putting this particular kind of barrier it means whatever be the height of that particular machine is there higher than that should be the height of it the barrier may be either close to the source or it can be close to the receiver subject to the condition that this r should be much much less than the d or in other words to increase the transverse length for the sound wave okay the it should also be noted that the presence of the barrier itself can reflect sound back towards the source so at very large distances the barrier becomes less effective because of the possibility of the refractive atmospheric effects so definitely this thing will not be preferred to keep the barrier at long distance this thing will be more preferred to keep it close to the source and the third thing is that you can use the protective equipment for protecting your ears so protective equipment usage is the ultimate step in the noise control technology because whatever the means that you will use but sometimes few machineries are still producing the noise like in, in case of hammer there is an impact is there because whatever the work that you have to get done with the help of that hammer so definitely noise will be there because if that impact is given from the steel to steel so the definitely sound will be generated over there and that sound level is very high so we call it as a noise okay and therefore it is always better to use the protective equipment so after noise reduction at source and after the diversion or engineering control of the transmission path of noise suppose you have done all these two things so noise reduction also you have done whatever maximum possible 
on your side and also in the transmission path you are trying to divert the that noise but still that noise if it is there in that case there is only one option that you have to use the protective equipment for protecting your ears so the usage of the protective equipment and the mercus exposure to the high noise levels can be minimized by the job rotation so job rotation means by rotating the job between the workers working at a particular noise source or isolating the person and the adverse impacts can be reduced so if there are three persons working over here and so there is more noise over here okay and there is less noise over here and here and then what you can do is you can ask one person to work over here second person is working over here and third person is working over here so in a period of uh, eight hour shift you can ask this person number one to go over here after two hours so this will be going to this location this will be going to this location and this will be moving to this location after every two hours so this way you can rotate the different workers okay so job rotation is like this at the same time exposure reduction so regulations prescribe that the noise level of 90 decibel okay for more than eight hour continuous exposure is being prohibited it means definitely if, if you are exposing a particular person for eight hours continuously at a noise level of 90 decibel so his or her ears will get damaged so persons who are working under such conditions will be exposed to the occupational health hazards the schedule of the worker should be planned in such a way that they should not be over exposed to the high noise level so this is a way you can take care of it so equipments like uh, called as ear muffs or ear plugs are commonly used devices for hearing protection and attenuation provided by ear muffs vary widely in respect of their size shape and seal material okay so what is the attenuation is being provided by these uh, ear muffs that is going to vary depending upon the size shape and the seal material used and an average noise attenuation up to 30 decibel can be achieved using ear muffs so this 30 decibels sound you can reduce by using this ear muffs so this is what you can do to reduce the noise pollution so here we are going to stop so thank you thank you very much